All right, so we just finished closing on a property here in Cape. Uh, this unit right behind me and I'm helping my client out right now. He's trying to get at least so I'm showing the property today. And yeah, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour and take a look at it. So let's go. All right, so here's the front living room. It's a one bedroom, one bath. There's laundry in residence here. Kitchen on this side. One full bathroom. Shower to this side here. And I come out to the back. Here is the bedroom. Closet on that side. Everything's been repainted. Uh, when my client bought it, somebody already redeveloped it and rehabbed it. Everything works in good condition. There's the backyard. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Get a good shot of this kitchen. Here we go. Yeah, so it's a new year. Today is January 3rd. It is a Tuesday. So I have one more showing of a client coming in here and showing them the property. After that, we'll be buttoned up and we'll move on to our next project. Let's go. Welcome back everybody, thank you for joining in. I wanted to walk you through the roof systems that we have here in Southwest Florida, Cape Coral. We are going to look at two different areas, specifically the roof shapes and the roof covering materials. First, roof shape, we have gable roofs. The term gable refers to the triangle spot that is formed when the two pitched areas all of the roof meet. The gable roof is a very popular type of roof. It's easy to build, sheds water well, facilitates ventilation, and can be applied to most house designs. Next we have hip roofs. Hip roof is slightly more difficult to build and it usually has four sides. It's a popular choice but does not provide for ventilation. They do perform better in high wind areas though. And regarding the ventilation thing, you got to imagine here in southwest Florida that it's extremely humid and it's extremely hot and those are the two things that causes mold growth. So you do want ventilation. And those type of roofs, even though they lack ventilation, uh, depending on where they're at in the region here in South West Florida, what they typically do is that they could put vents in the soffits or a fan at the top or at the bottom. There's multiple ways to vent those type of roofs. So it's not that those roofs cannot be vented. We're using a generalization here <laughs> and it applies the type of roofs can go over the whole type of uh, our whole country and different parts of the world. But specifically here in Southwest Florida, those type of roofs can be vented. Now, next we have the mansard roof where we see this in older condos throughout Southwest Florida. It's a French design and it's more difficult to build than the hip or gable roof. Actually features two slopes within one on each side. The bottom part of the roof slope is steeper so that the pitch of the roof barely starts. This allows more room on the inside and in most cases creates an extra space. Next we have flat roofs. Most flat roofs are not really 100% flat. They are low sloped roofs that appear flat but have a little bit of a slope to allow for the runoff of water. These are popular in South Florida and slowly making its way here to Southwest Florida. They are very resistant to hurricanes. However, it does carry a boxy type of design promoting more of a modern look to the home. Moving on to roof coverings. Asphalt shingles are one of the classic roofing materials that you see on most modern homes. They are an affordable, easy to install option that is also easy to repair and replace as needed. You can even choose from a basic asphalt shingle to something higher end like a 3D tab or architectural shingle. However, due to the way that the design, asphalt shingles are not the most durable option. They can last up to 30 years depending on what they are exposed to like wind and sun, but unfortunately once the granules on the asphalt roofing are gone, the whole roof needs to be replaced. Next up we have metal roofing. It comes in many different types of forms like metal shakes and shingles, standing seam metal roofing, and stone coated steel. All are popular options due to their ability to take a beating, keep moisture away, and provide superior UV protection. Cost can vary for metal roofing. However, depending on the style you choose. 
Additionally, while metal roofs can withstand the impact of hail and things like water and fire, the damage will eventually begin to show and it could take away from the look of your home. Next up we have slate. Tiles or shingles, there is no denying the popularity of slate as one of the natural types of roof materials for homes. It's beautiful, incredibly durable, and it can last for a very long time. Unfortunately, slate is heavy, meaning not all homes are strong enough to support the weight. They are also expensive and slate roofs require a specialist to install them, which can be hard to find. Repairs can be most difficult for slate tiles and shingles. And moving on to something similar, clay tiles is another natural roofing option made from the earthen clay and molded and fired for durability. It is a great option for homes in hot climates, making them popular in southern coastal and desert regions, hence southwest Florida. They also absorb less moisture, meaning they require less maintenance. But one major disadvantage of clay tiles is that they are expensive. While clay tiles are lighter than concrete tiles, they can add a lot of weight to a home structure, which can cause issues. Although they offer some level of durability, clay tiles are incredibly fragile and can break when it comes to working on them. Next up we have concrete is a durable option that can mimic different types of roofing materials like asphalt, slate, even wood shingles. Concrete is also cheaper than options like clay and can last upwards of 50 years. On the other hand, concrete is still heavy and can put a lot of stress on structure of a home. They also require more maintenance, especially because of water absorption. Next up, we have flat roofs. For homes with flat or low pitch roofs, one of the most common type of roof materials is membrane roofing. Membrane roofing is made of the most commonly with EPDM, a synthetic rubber sheet material. It is reliable, affordable, lightweight, and easy to install and repair. On the other hand, the presence of roof penetrations like chimneys and HVAC systems can make installation a little bit more harder and it's expensive. It's relatively easy for a membrane roof to become punctured. Even the seams between the membrane sheets can lead to leaks which can cause serious issues. Lastly, we have solar tiles. Solar tile roofing is a newer roofing option that's eye-catching. Solar tiles also can help save money on the electricity bill. Since they absorb solar energy, can be converted into power. Solar tiles take a long time to install and are also incredibly expensive. They are also not an ideal option for homes in shaded areas. Additionally, they are somewhat fragile compared to other options. Okay, so knowing what we know now, um, there's gonna be a pop-up here. Uh, that's a Hurricane Ian video. Go take a look at that video and look at the roofs specifically to see which roofs took the most damage in comparison to like shingle roofs, tile roofs, concrete tile roofs, and then metal roofs and flat roofs. It's gonna be eye-opening because you're gonna see which homes took the most amount of damage on the roofs. And spoiler alert, they're all shingle roofs for the most part. From what I saw, metal and concrete and flat roofs fared well the most during Hurricane Ian. And the homes with metal roofs that did not fare well, it makes me question the workmanship of the installation. Because literally, I probably only saw two roofs that were metal that actually peeled open like a sardine can. That's it for me. If you're thinking or even considering relocating to Southwest Florida, be sure to call, text, or email me. My information's in the box below. And it's gonna pop up on the screen here too. I'd love the opportunity to connect with you and if you want to know more about working, living, or playing here in Southwest Florida, then if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you're kept up to date with the latest content. Thank you so much for watching and as always, own more real estate.